In this video, we'll see how to work on the styles and outline. How do we apply styles to a text? How do we create new styles and use the outlines in a proper manner? Okay, so let us see that one by one. So uh, right now, if you see, I have created this text here. Now I'll apply on this on this place some styles. How do I apply? First is I'll select the text and then I can go to this home tab. And on the right hand side, if you see, there are different styles available. These are styles. I can select this spacing, no spacing heading one you observe what will happen at this place heading three heading four heading five and so on so these are some styles which are applied now what exactly i mean to say by styles styles are nothing but collection of all the formattings at one place and that has been given some name for example if i say bold italic underline and i want some font size some color and some font if i mix everything and pick make it as some package that becomes as one style Okay, so these are already inbuilt styles. If you see here, these are already inbuilt styles from this place. Okay, so if I select any one of them, that style has been applied. So how do I create my own style itself? How do I create it? It's simple. Again, I have to go to the home tab, click on this drop down, and you see there's an option as create style. So if I click on create style, it will ask me what is the name of your style. So I'll write as some name, I'll give it as uh, formatting formatting style one so in this place i've given some name but what exactly is the style inside so i'll just click on this modify so if i click on this modify it will give me a dialog box which will give me different types of formats format in the sense this is the uh, you know so that's a preview given what is the style i want what is the font style i want i can select some font style like that the size of the font i can select okay i'll increase the font size here let's say 24 what do you want bold italic underline so i'll select all three what is the color you want i'll say i want as the blue green color so this is my style now and what is the name of the style you can see the name of the style is at this place formatting style one and formatting style one what is the style type you want do you want to link with the paragraphs and the characters or do you want only for paragraph only for characters or do you want for tables right now i'll say only for the paragraphs that's it this style which you're creating is it based on some other style so you can copy the style from that place so these are different styles which are already inbuilt these are heading one heading two heading three these are already inbuilt heading styles okay so you can copy from them also and the thing is next one is style for following paragraph you can select any one okay so that's not required once this setting part is done what we are doing exactly we are creating a style so after creating a new style, do you want to add the style to the style gallery? So I'll say yes, yes, I want to add. And you can just click on OK. Remember, the name of the style is formatting style one. Click on OK. So this is the name of the style that is formatting style one. You see it has been added here. If you click on this, if you select this text and if you click on this, that style will be applied. So I hope you are able to understand styling means you are applying some formatting techniques on that particular text. That one you can create and put into the style gallery itself. So that is very simple and easy to understand. So this is we have seen these two topics. Let us see the third topic, how we can apply an outline. Now what exactly an outline means is, if you want to create some course outline for some topic, let's say I want to create some course outline for this based on this topic. I have three Microsoft course uh, courses. Let's say I have some uh, Excel, Word, PowerPoint. These are three Microsoft courses every topic has uh, i mean there are two topics for each course for excel i have two course uh, two topics word powerpoint there are two topics below that topics i have some subtopics so i can add some sub topics below that so let us see how to work on that so first thing is i'll create three ms office course it's simple so i'll just type here and uh, i'll take my cursor here and i'll type as ms office course okay now what i'll do is i'll type here number one and press dot one and dot and i'll press space bar the moment i press space bar you see there's a number formatting which is applied here number formatting now if i want to give the name of the you know software i can write as ms excel second is ms word and third is ms powerpoint ms powerpoint so that is so these are three different tools which are in the microsoft office but now below under each tool, I want to give some subtopics. So what I can do is I can just press enter 
kept my cursor press enter i do not want parallel but i want a sub topic if you want a sub topic you have to just press tab key from a keyboard press tab from a keyboard this is shifted and it becomes a sub topic now i can write some uh, uh, things which i need below ms excel i'll write as formulas write as pivot table etc similarly if i want below this ms word i'll just type here enter tab and i want as page setup enter and i want as print out or you can say sprint similarly for the powerpoint i'll add some more topics enter tab and you press tab as transition and i'll see as animation so this i've created here now under ms excel i have formulas but what type of formulas do you want i have some different formulas some minimum maximum average kind of so i'll just keep my cursor here press enter okay so it came below that i do not want below that i'll press tab key from a keyboard okay so this is how the hierarchical will be done if you only press tab key from a keyboard enter and tab that's it so now the formulas will be as sum minimum maximum average okay so like this you can keep on doing for the other all the topics here so that is what i'm trying to say is if you want to create a different you know you can use this uh, different course outline techniques that is how do we use the outline in the efficient manner so that's very simple and easy method rather than going to the upper paragraph itself so i hope you are able to understand how to work on style apply style create new style and work on the outline that's all for this video